Hello viewers, uh, I just want to tell the couple when would it be ideal for them to have a decision made to proceed for the IVF ICSI treatment. So there are a lot of couple who come to us at young age, married less than one year and they just want to proceed for IVF treatment, which is actually not the ideal one to have done. So the ideal way is to go by the age first. If the couple is 40 years and above, we have to understand that the female partner is edging towards the perimenopausal changes once she crosses 37, 38 years and there should be no delay in her conception further. So when the couple or the female partner is edging or above 40 years, it's ideal for her to decide for an IVF exit program. The next one would be a bilateral tubal disease. It either could be a block which cannot be removed by a hysterolaparoscopy procedure or it could be a tubal disease such as hydrosulfinx or anything following a bacterial or a uh, viral infection. So if it is that way, then the ideal would again be to be is to go for an IVF or an ICSI program. And there can be few female partners with hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism. Like their hormone levels are too low, FSH and LH hormones are too low, they remain amenorrheic with no menstrual cycles. For them, we give them the hormone injections to augment the folliculogenesis. So for all these couples, it would be more ideal to go for an IVF and an ICSI program. Similarly, male partners who have sperm counts less than 10 million should be little cautious and if they are not able to conceive naturally or for IUI, definitely consideration should be given for an IVF ICSI program. The next would be the motility, sperm motility the slow and the progressive, uh, the rapid and the uh, moderate motile sperm should be around 40%. If the motility goes low, then definitely we have to consider giving them an ICSI program. IVF may not also be helpful for these couple. And last but not least comes the morphology. If the morphology of the sperm for the male partner is lesser than 4 male percentage, then for sure the consideration has to be done for an IMC program. So IMC is intracytoplasmically morphologically selected sperm injection. It's the advanced method in the IVF ICSI program. With good selected sperms, the outcome can be good. So after this, whatever be the irrespective of the couple age, if they are married more than five years and they have failed two to three IUIs, then definitely the consideration has to be given for an IVF or an ICSI program. So by opting for the advanced ART technique at the right time, we can also yield better success or I can even say the best success for the infertile couple to have their own biological child. And it is essential to understand that the babies born through the ART techniques are as good or as normal as those born through the normal natural fertilization methods and they do not carry much genetically abnormalities with them.